The following video will contain a lot of delicious food, so you may not want to watch an empty stomach. Oh, hey everyone, Scott or the Scott Man, and we're here to do a restaurant tour today. We're here in Clinton Township, Michigan to start our Asian restaurant tour for Metro Detroit. We'll be going to three different restaurants with a lot of great cuisines from the eastern part of Asia. And we're gonna start off with some Vietnamese food here at Pho Lineup, located here along Garfield Road, uh, just between Metro Parkway and Moravian Drive. I haven't had some great Vietnamese food in quite a long time. So I'm really excited to, to kick off this restaurant tour. With, I'm not going to get some pho this time. I'm going to try something else that's Vietnamese. So I'm really looking forward to my meal. I should probably go inside because I'm starting to get a little cold. <laughs> and I'm getting hungry too. Let's go in. Alright, so made inside and decided to get a, a signature Vietnamese dish. It's got the cam tam. It was a steamed rice dish with usually cooked with egg, your choice of protein. Usually it's pork, but I decided to get chicken. Also some fish sauce, and also comes with some vegetables too. And it's typically eaten with a fork and a spoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a little bit of the egg in with the steamed rice. Some pieces of chicken in here as well. And we'll enjoy. Mmm, mmm. It's very tasty and delicious. Great spices in this chicken. It's nice and warm. Very flavorful. And rice and egg make a great combination. Yeah, this is phenomenal. Okay, let me get another bite here on camera. All right, let's do it. There we go. Losing some of the egg here, but and some of the rice. All right, here we go. <laughs> mm, tomato carrot. Mmm, mmm. Very fresh and delicious. So glad I found this restaurant because yeah, I saw the reviews were really, really good here, and I can see why is the food is, again is delicious. If you're here in Clinton Township or if you're looking for a great Vietnamese restaurant here in Metro Detroit, you have to come here because it is awesome. That was amazing. The food was fantastic in there. And it's like that fish sauce just makes it even more more sweet too. It's like mix that with the egg, some of the vegetables, and also the, the of course the rice and the chicken. Mm -mm. Great combination. It kind of reminds me of when I went to Indonesia uh, about a year and a half ago, and I had a lot of, a lot of rice dishes with egg and not necessarily with meat, but even ones with meat. Oh, they love Asian food. Whether well, it's from China, Japan, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, you name it. Let's make sure I'm not in anybody's way, but yeah. There are a lot of great Asian restaurants here in Metro Detroit. So, but we're gonna be covering two other great locations. But to mix things up a little bit, we won't get Vietnamese food for the rest of the video. Just to, again, just to experience different cultures. So, I'll see you for the next location. And we've made it to our second location. We are here in Dearborn Heights in front of Oyaki Sushi, located here off Ford Road between Beach Daily and Inkster Road. And I'm here to get some delicious Japanese cuisine. They have a lot of great Japanese dishes from delicious sushi to some great other Japanese classics, including chicken teriyaki. But I haven't had sushi in quite a while, so I'm gonna go inside 
get some sushi and enjoy. So glad the sun's out though today. All right, we're here inside. It's definitely great to see a lot of people here at the restaurant enjoying some great Japanese food. All right, so as I was saying outside, I have to get some sushi. So got their sushi platter, got a spicy tuna roll, and then, and then some uh, nigiri as well. And I don't know where to start. Maybe with the spicy tuna roll. All right. I haven't had sushi in a long time, so I'm really excited to dig in. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I can taste the spice with that. <laughs> Very fresh and delicious, a little spicy, but I like it. It's like they, they put, you can tell they put a little bit of wasabi in it, so it's like, that makes it really perfect though. Yeah, for what I saw online, they, they use fresh ingredients here, so you know you're making the sushi correctly when it's nice and fresh. All right, get some, I have the nigiri as well. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, this is delicious. You can tell how fresh the fish is here. I'm gonna go home a happy camper. Mmm. Yeah, they're highly rated here, and I can tell why, because this sushi is fantastic. Oh. But wait, that's not all. <laughs> I actually got to meet the owner off camera, and he actually gave me a special dessert on the house, so how about that? So I decided to get, so I got like a, like a fried Oreo ice cream dessert. Lots of fruit too. Pear, apple, kiwi. This looks delicious. There's no way I can eat all of this. <laughs> mm. So it's, yeah, it's ice cream tempura. And this is amazing. And we can't forget the cherry. Mmm. So fresh and delicious. But yeah, because of my condition and my esophagus, I can't eat dairy very often, so when I do, I gotta indulge on stuff like this. Gotta get some fried Oreo in here. Mmm. Mm. If you're here in Dearborn Heights or anywhere in Metro Detroit, you definitely have to check out Oyaki Sushi. Amazing food here. All right, I should probably eat the rest of this off camera because I got a lot of food I gotta eat. <laughs> so I'll see you back outside. That food was absolutely am amazing. <laughs> really enjoyed my experience in there. I've been to quite a few or quite several Japanese restaurants in Metro Detroit and I have to say that's probably my favorite one I've been to so far. It, the food was phen phenomenal in there, and it was really nice of the owner to, to offer that free dessert. <laughs> it was very, very nice of him. Everybody in there was very, very friendly. <laughs> Great experience there. As I was saying inside, yeah, you have to check out Oyaki Sushi if you want some delicious Japanese food here in Metro Detroit. All right. But there's still one more restaurant in our Asian restaurant tour, so where will we go next? Well, you just have to keep watching. And we made it to our third and final location here on our Asian restaurant tour. This time we're gonna get some delicious Chinese food. So I've made it all the way out here to Western Oakland County to Highland Township. Right off M59, we're in front of TJ's Express. They have some absolutely delicious Chinese food. And 
to change things up a little bit from the first two places, we're gonna get takeout this time. Because uh, although restaurants are open for, up for indoor dining again here in Michigan, a lot of people still aren't comfortable with eating in a restaurant, which is perfectly understandable. So I wanna demonstrate that you can not only support restaurants by dining in at them, but you could also get, get carry out as well. So I'm gonna go in inside off camera. I'm gonna go pick up my order and I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my food at home. So I got a little bit of a drive to do once I get my food. So, I'll, but, I'll, but I'll see you, I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. Okay, I just made the long trek back home. So again, the change is up. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food here at home. So here we got some delicious Chinese takeout or American Chinese takeout. Decided to get their General Tso's chicken. It looks really, really tasty. Also some chicken fried rice as a side and an egg roll too. So I'm gonna dig into the egg roll first. It's been sitting for a little while, so fortunately it should be nice and, not nice and tame. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh, these egg rolls are nice and crispy. They're a, a little bit of, of a sweet flavor to them too, which I really like. Okay, and a little bit of the fried rice. Mmm. Nice and flavorful. Got pieces of chicken, also some grilled onion here as well. Very good. And then take a bite of some of the chicken. All right, that's good. It's cooled down enough so that way you can dig in. Mm-mm. It's nice and sweet. Yeah, the, the sauce of these for the General Tso's chicken is it's phenomenal. A lot of great, great flavor to it. Chicken's not tough or anything. It's, it's cooked very well. I've actually been to this place before and they've had really good food, so I wanted to get this on cam camera this time so that way I can show you how awesome it is. And of course, even give you some broccoli in here too. Mm-mm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead Eat the rest of this off camera and I'll, I'll see in a little bit. Well, I gotta say, that was absolutely delicious. I always enjoy some great American Chinese food, especially General Tso's chicken. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I want to do an Asian restaurant tour this video is just because in the past, I say the past year because of the pandemic, I've been, I haven't been too happy with all the reports I'm he hearing about a lot of discrimination against a lot of Asian Americans, which, yeah, there's no reason to discriminate against anybody. And I, uh, and I basically want to, uh, to show some appreciation to their culture by featuring a few different great restaurants, picking a few different nationalities from Vietnamese to Japanese to Chinese. But you don't have to just stop there because... There's also great foods too for Thai cuisine, Indonesian cuisine, Malaysian, Singaporean, Filipino. There's so many great foods from that part of the world. And it's great that there are some great options here in Metro Detroit. Although of course the best would be to fly out to like China or Japan or, or like the Philippines, Vietnam, but although at the moment pretty much can't at the moment. But eventually though, we'll all be able to go back over to those places. But I hope you enjoy this restaurant tour where we cover three different great restaurants. So two being dine-in and one being carry-out. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and join me for the venture. And uh, don't forget to click, to click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching and this is Scott of the Scott Man signing out.